With only 61 days left to go until Election Day, things are heating up on the campaign trail. Paul Ryan making a stop here in Colorado Springs, hoping to secure more votes for the GOP. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to introduce the next Vice President of the United States, Paul Ryan. Republican Vice Presidential pick Paul Ryan addressing an energized crowd Thursday morning, telling them this election is crucial to the country's future. We basically have to decide whether we're going to stay on the current path we are on, a path of debt, a path of doubt, a path of decline, or we're going to reapply our country's founding principles and get us back on the right track and reignite the American idea for the American people. Ryan calling President Obama a politician who has changed his campaign from hope and change to attack and blame. He can blame other people in the past, but he can't tell you we are better off as a nation. He admitted Mr. Obama inherited a tough situation, but criticized him for not making progress during his time in the White House. The president took $716 billion out of Medicare to fund Obamacare. Don't take my word for it. Take the word from the Medicare chief actuary, from the Congressional Budget Office, or from arithmetic. <laughs> Ryan saying Republicans want growth, opportunity, and Mitt Romney is the man who can lead the country to that and a better future. And just know this. We get this right, we can turn this around. We can get this done, we can do this. Thank you very much everybody for coming out. Thank you so much for all your help. God bless you all. Thank you Colorado Springs, thank you Colorado. After his stop here, Paul Ryan heading to LA, then Nevada on Friday. Meanwhile, Mitt Romney taking a few days off to prepare for his big debate with President Obama October 3rd in Denver. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Abby Burke, Fox 21 News.